Padilla, Chortkiv is a small town in Ternopil Oblast. Covered with legends, it is rich in historical monuments and its own cultural traditions. It is here that you can see the majestic church of St. Stanislav City Hall, walk along the old cobblestone pavements, meet talented musicians, watch a cartoon about the city and try some delicious dishes of local cuisine. We continue our acquaintance with this wonderful city which is situated on the banks of the Seret River and at the intersection of many roads. Our guide today is Irina Brunda because she is great at the history of her native Chortkiv. She'll show us the most interesting tourist sites. Behind me you can see the architectural dominant of Chortkiv, the Dominican Church. It can be seen from anywhere in our city. Look at this wonderful building. It's even more beautiful on the inside. Let's go and take a look. The majestic Gothic Church of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary and Saint Stanislaus. This church is an architectural monument from the 17th century. Its more common name is the Church of Saint Stanislav. However, the incredible beauty of the facades and interior mean the place of worship deserves to be called by its full name. The church has had this look since 1910 when it was rebuilt, and the old church was part of the Dominican defense complex, completely rebuilt before World War I. It was rebuilt within nine years as per the design of the architect Jan Cez Zubrzycki. It is built in the Neo-Gothic Nedwisland style. Now the Dominican Cathedral is a beautiful building constructed in Neo-Gothic style whose lower part is made of stone an upper part of red brick. Rebuilding work is currently taking place at the church, so it's not easy to get inside. But we know where the secret passages are. Let's go! Once you get inside the church, you feel the greatness of the ancient building. So it's no wonder that it is in the top seven greatest Catholic churches in Ukraine. The special feature of our church is that there are items here that have been preserved for so many years. In particular, the main altar and an emblem used by the Dominican priests to preach from. There were no microphones back then. The church walls are also authentic. On our walls hang three commemorative plaques, which were installed back in the 18th-19th centuries, which tell the history of this church. The church interior is distinguished by the grandeur and at the same time its modesty. The sculptures inside the church are the work of masters Czesław Stop and Diamant Stankiewicz. The sophistication and elegance of this place of worship make it so impressive. The church houses the miraculous icon Our Lady of Chortkiv. It is famous for lots of miracles, healing, conversion to the Christianity and God. People come here to bow down to Our Lady of Chortkiv to receive her grace. Unfortunately, the original of this icon is no longer housed in our temple. In 1946 it was first removed to Krakow and then to Warsaw, where it is kept now. But we are proud that God blessed us with this copy and also because not long before his death Pope John Paul II consecrated the crowns. So this icon is crowned. The original of this icon had been kept in Chorky for almost three centuries, since the time when King Jan Kazimir presented this icon to the Dominican Fathers in 1663 during his military campaign against Moscow. And now you can see a crowned copy of this icon in the altar. At Holy Mass you can hear the majestic sounds of the organ in the church. The building was well preserved and members of several clans of noblemen found rest in its walled cellars and in the crypt. We will tell fans of beautiful landscapes where the scenic views of Chortkiv are to be found. Ask local citizens where Vignana mountain is and climb it up. Believe me, this is the place that has the best view of the city. Don't forget to take a photo of the city from above. And then you can go to see other interesting tourist sites. Everything is fine here, even the old cobblestones in the streets. In olden times, the actual process of lay paving took a great deal of time. After stone extraction, experienced craftsmen used a hammer and cleaver to give it to the appropriate shape. But as we can see, the paving stones on the streets of Chortki were cubed over 100 years ago. But they have been preserved to this time and the townspeople still use them. You can walk along the same pavement and see the new city hall or the so-called new magistrate, which was built in 1930 by the architect Josef Kutsevsky. The building is also decorated with a clock tower, so local residents always know what time it is in Chortki. Indeed, there are already two clock towers in the city and this clock has been keeping the right time for many years. 
Chotki is a city of all kinds of sounds and voices. Do you know how the city sounds today? Let's go acquainted with the Double Blast music band. Hello! We are so pleased to welcome you to Chortkiv. We're at the Double Blast Band, Lydia Boykiv plays Bandura. And Yuri Radko is an accordion player. We began working about three years ago. We played various covers, classics in modern arrangement and came up with our own arrangement. Now we're working in our own genre. We're starting to write our own music, to interest the listener with the Ukrainian instrument and at the same time to show our own style. We're so pleased to work here in Chortkiv and show different scenic spots in our video clips. We filmed the video clips in a church, at a stadium, and in a humanitarian teacher training college. Actually, when we just began working with Yuri, I didn't like my musical instrument. But Yura showed me how to use a bandura in a new way. I believed in myself and realized that I could play different kinds of music on the bandura. Actually, I want to say that such folk instruments as a button accordion and bandura are not very popular, but their popularity has grown recently because musicians started to play modern music. And so they began to attract listeners of different ages to both music and these folk instruments. We hope that this talented duet from Chortky will have fans not only in their native land, but also beyond the shores of Ukraine. We've seen a lot of sights today and now we are very hungry. And if you are wondering what is the taste of Chortkiv, you can taste local cuisine wherever delicious dishes are cooked. I invite you to visit the most vibrant establishment in our city. Let's taste some authentic dishes. While our dish is being cooked, we can drink aromatic tea, get warm and get to see some local souvenirs. This is an ordinary cup at first glance, but it has a secret. And you can reveal the secret very simply – make some tea or coffee in it. That's how Chortkiv greets the morning. And now let's see what else can bring you some joy while you make some recollections about our city. Here are postcards with views of the city and those places you've already visited. And those places that you haven't visited yet. Chortkiv always welcomes you. If you like magnets, you will be offered many variations. The church, the city's coat of arms and the town hall with the clock. There are souvenirs with all sorts of designs as a keepsake about our city. You can buy such souvenirs in almost all stores in Chortkiv. Well, now it's time to try that delicious local dish. My greetings, we bring to your attention our authentic West Ukrainian dish – dumplings in mushroom sauce. You will not taste such a delicious dish anywhere. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. This is an authentic Western Ukrainian dish, the recipe for which has been slightly changed. The dumplings are not boiled, but deep-fried in a fryer and served with mushroom sauce. So tasty. Honestly, you won't taste such a dish anywhere else. It's worth coming to Chortkiv just to taste them. Local citizens are very fond of their city and are used to the fact that inhabitants of Chortkiv adhere to certain traditions or even habits. For example, a market in the city center near the old clock that was built more than 100 years ago and it still works. Local animators even created a plasticine cartoon about it. Chortkiv has always been famous for its interesting people. So it was in ancient times, in the last century, and it is famous even today. 
As strange as it may seem, but plasticine animation is flourishing in Chortkiv even now. A plasticine cartoon about Chortkiv was shot for the first time in Ukraine. The creator of the cartoon, Tanya Yasinchuk, will tell us how it was and what kind of plasticine story this is. So, let's start with a question, how did your plasticine story begin and then develop? It all began with a cartoon about the Chortkiv market or unrealistic stories. We created it together with the Pervetsvit Club in Chortkiv and it was released in 2010. In fact, we didn't even expect it would have such great success. We just wanted to try and make a video. We just wanted to try. We realized a little later that with the help of animation we could convey some sort of idea to those who watch or listen to our video. This is what my career as an animator in Short Kiev began with. Although at that time I was just animating and worked as a character designer. So I wasn't involved in the entire process of creating a cartoon. It is from those days that the entire development of plasticine animation began in Short Kiev. But I had a very long break as I studied in Kamienes Podilski. I studied at the Faculty of Journalism. And later, while I was doing my master's, I realized that I didn't want to do anything else except animation. I'm even happy to make efforts into the development of animation in Short Kiev. So, after a long creative pause, Tanya received the Grand Prix for her first work INF site at the Kino Media Festival. She shot almost 10 works in the technique of plasticine animation, which are marked by victories after being nominations at festivals. One of them is called Warm Rain for the song by the famous group Mary. А я стою в бальоновом плаще. Tanya, why is Short Kiev worth visiting? To at least to have a cup of tea or coffee with me. Talk to new people, find interesting materials and contacts for stories. Short Kiev is rich and talented people who welcome other people with their projects, their achievements, their opportunities and ideas. Short Kiev is worth seeing at least for this. So we'd like to invite you to visit Short Kiev to drink tea or coffee, go for an interesting walk, have some interesting meetings and turn some cool ideas into reality. Travel around Ukraine, discover new cities and tell the whole world about them. May your every trip be bright and unforgettable.